project today is I'm going to uh, add some ballast to my tractor tires. Uh, when I bought the tractor, Cabela's was, uh, was clearancing everything and they no longer had their ballast system, so I didn't get any. You know, I've had the tractor this long, I heard it makes a huge difference. Um, so we'll show you what we got here. What I got is the, um, the Slime kit. Slime has one that has all the adapters and everything to go for the air hose, the garden hose, all that. I'm not going to go into too in depth too much because I know there's a million of these videos out on YouTube already. But basically, you uh, go ahead and hook that up, remove the uh, inner on your uh, your air valve, and hook up the slime kit. Uh, you want to drain, uh, bleed off a lot of air. Uh, I've seen guys bleed too much and regret it because the uh, sidewalls on these tires are very stiff, and you'll pop them off the bead. And if you pop it off the bead, odds are you're not getting it back on alone because they are so stiff you're going to need a, uh, a lot of work or um, a regular mobile tractor company come back up. Another thing you want to do from watch online is it helps to stop popping the bead is if you jack it up, take the weight off the tires. Uh, that way there's nothing sitting on the, the sidewall as you bleed it. I bled off a bunch when I pulled the valve. And then what I'm going to do is, then I, what I do is, every so often here, I'm going to stop the, I set this up with a stop, and then I can bleed air that way. And then I can go ahead and continue refilling. Well, we'll show you what we got when we finish up. Like I said, not going in too much in depth because there's there's a lot of these out there. Anybody questions or anything about it? I guess, according to these tire sizes, what I've seen online, I get about 60 gallons in here. Uh, water is about eight pounds per gallon, so we'll get about 480 pounds per tire in ballast, which would be nice when I'm using the front end loader, especially getting a lot of bounce, even though I'll put the, uh, the box blade on the back. Now with this, I should get a, a lot less bounce and beating up the front end. Look, what you can do as you're going along too, you can take a mallet, I got a rubber one here, to know how much you got. If you listen, So you can tell we're right about there. You heard the difference. Watch when I come up. You can hear that's all hollow. And right, right about here is where our water is. Just gives you an idea where you're at, so you're not not guessing. I think currently I throw a uh, stopwatch on this too, a timer. So I'll uh, I'll post uh, how long it took and also the size of these tires at the end. So they're just regular ag tires. Size is 43 by 16.00-20. Uh, the other side has just finished filling and it was just over a half hour. We'll see if this one comes out. Should come out exactly about the same. Okay, gonna call this one done. The other tire took about the same. It was about 33 minutes a tire. That includes uh, bleeding. You know, I'd stop the water and just press the bleed valve, bleed out some air, but uh, we'll have to check it out and see if it makes as big a difference as people say it does with the bales down there. Definitely should with the bucket and the loader. So thanks again for watching. Uh, if you found what you got here interesting, you want to see more, you know, hit the subscribe, the like button. Post down below if there's other things you want to see. I know I haven't been filming as much as I should. Um, I'm gonna try to, I, I need a better additional camera besides my phone. And so thanks again and have a great day.